Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this device. So obviously the device in front of me is already locked so we're gonna progress from here and you want to connect to Wi-Fi obviously uh, to actually get it to here. You will need a network which you can see right here I already am connected. So from here tap on a field where you type in and you want to tap on the three dots choose Samsung Pass right here. Let's get started. Give it a moment and it will tell us that it needs to be updated. So let's just confirm that by tapping, yep. Check here, I agree. And unfortunately, before we begin, we actually need to update the Galaxy Store to get where we need to get. So let's just confirm that. This will start updating. Okay, and we're back in here. So again, same process, three dots. Go to Samsung Pass, get started, update, and this should open up the Galaxy Store. So from here, do not tap on the update. You wanna scroll down where you'll have the view all. And here you have an email. Tap on that email address, right? So it will take you to your Gmail. Just skip this right here. And you wanna tap on add an email address like so and choose Outlook, Hotmail, or Live. And in here, log in with your email. Now, if you do not have one, uh, you can always create one on the Microsoft website. Just do it preferably on a computer. It probably will be easier than trying it from here. But I already have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. next and I'm gonna put in the password for this so leave that off the screen now keep in mind that the password is case sensitive and then tap on sign in step on next next take me to mail and automatically it opens up the Compose email. So you wanna from here tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And in here, you wanna start typing delete. So delete um, or disable apps on Android. So the second option is you can see this one right here. Tap on it. And below you'll have this thing here. So delete apps that you installed, tap to go to application settings. So you wanna select that. And in here, let's scroll down to Google, as you can see right here. So let's select Google. And in the Google, you'll have at the bottom open option. So tap on that. And we don't want to sign in, so no thanks. And in the search right here, type in settings. And just by typing a couple letters, you can see that you already have settings up right here. So simply tap on it and it will open up settings. And now we're gonna go to, where was it? I believe it was biometrics and security and then other settings or other security settings. And there it is, pen windows. Enable this, tap on it, and enable this right here. And this will basically tell us that we need to put in a uh, way of unlocking the device, basically a screen lock. And now by default, I had set up a pattern on here. So it, there was a pattern that you could use to unlock that or verify that you're you instead of the email address for Google. Uh, so this time around, I'm gonna go with the pin, just so it's something different. Um, so let's just check pin, uh, and it just tells you that pin uh, must have at least four digits. So I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four. Continue. Uh, enter the same same pin once more. One, two, three, four. Confirm it, and now the device has a set pin. And from here, all you need to do is let's hold power key. Select power off 
and then choose restart. And once more. Now you do need to remember that pin that we have set right now, it will be used twice uh, after we're back in the system. So we all need it to basically confirm uh, this when it's telling us to verify the device and also later on to reset the device once more. Okay, so as you can see, there is the, actually we'll need it three times in this case. So we need it now to unlock the device. So let's put that in, tap on okay. And let's progress through this. And there it is. So as previously where it was um, verify email and you can still do that by email, but assuming we don't know the email, we know the pattern that we have set right now. So one, two, three, four continue and bam the device allows us to skip this so let's just skip there we go two more now you don't want to really spend much time here on setting it up what we want to do is just gain quick access to the home screen where we'll go into the settings and perform a reset of the device through settings and this will allow us to remove any kind of leftover or leftover from the previous account that was previously blocking us. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen. Let's go to the settings and settings scroll all the way down to general management, reset and factory data reset. And gives you right here a message what to remove. So you have Google account and actually provides the account that we have added right here but it also will remove the previous uh, Google account that we, for instance, might not know the um, passwords to. So from here, tap on reset. And again, there is the pin that we have set. Again, one, two, three, four, continue, delete all. And now once the process is finished, we'll be back in the setup screen, but this time around, we can skip connection, connecting to Wi-Fi and anything. The device will, at that point, be fully unlocked. So I'll be back once the setup screen is visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can set up your device again. Uh, now this time around, I will, well, let's change the language to English. Let's look at the terms and so, once you read. Oops. So I'm going to again go through the setup process fairly quickly, just so I can save as much time as I can. And as you've already seen, I skipped the Wi-Fi connection, which normally if the device is still locked, I would not be able to. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.